Reporters' diary. Now the government is turning to bus and truck manufacturers to finalize its proposed scrappage policy. Now sources are telling CNBC TV18 that despite several rounds of talks for the past two years, different government departments have not been able to reach common ground on what will make this policy a success. Ashpreet Sethi joins us now with all the details from there. Uh, Ashpreet, what are you picking up? Uh, what are the details that are emerging now? Yes, absolutely. It's been two years since uh, when back and forth has been taking place as far as different departments or ministries are concerned. Remember, the ministries involved in the process of finalizing the scrappage policy include the Road and Transport Ministry, the Environment Ministry and the Steel uh, Ministry. Now, those who have been playing a spoil spot at this point of time is that Steel Ministry has been saying it should be made mandatory that all older vehicles should go through the scrappage uh, process. However, the Roads and the Transport Ministry has been saying that it cannot be made mandatory as of now because it's important to get everybody on board as far as the policy is concerned. But now what we pick up from sources is that they're going to open the forum, they're going to hold a meeting, a mega meeting which would include all the commercial vehicles or heavy vehicle manufacturers. They will take inputs as far as what would be best for the industry as far as incentives for scrapping old uh, vehicles concerned. We'll have to wait and see when uh, will be the exact date, but what we are picking up is this September is what the government is looking at.